Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a project pan update and this project is a collab with the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook and this project is called Harry Potter and the Cursed Project. <laughs> Last time I couldn't say it. I don't know what happened. I've written down Cursed Child but that is what it is based on. Anyway, this is created by Amanda and she is amazing and I have met her in London and it was amazing and I have went on about that so many times now that you might be sick of it but i think it's cool that i have met her <laughs> this project started on june 26th and it is going on for another month until september 26th i'm sorry if i can't talk today is that everything i wanted to say yeah this is a harry potter project and i'm really really excited about it so we were supposed to pick six items from six prompts categories Whatever you want to say. <laughs> I have some progress to show you guys. Somewhat nice, I guess. And I have some changes that I really want to talk to you guys about. And hopefully, hopefully, I can do it by um, within the next month. Crossing my fingers. I really, really want to though. So let me show you everything that I want to talk about. Obviously. The first category, if you can say it like that, it is... Something that inspires you to play. I really like to play around with eyeshadows. I chose a shadow from my MDK Vice 4 palette and it is the shade Flame. And as you can see, the pan on it. And I also have pan on Arctic, which is for the category Slytherin's Locket, which I chose for something glittery green. And as you can see, the pan on them, they are cheap pans. This is so big and bulky and with all the other shadows that I am working on, I forget to pull out this palette because it's so big. Seems stupid because it's big and it is in my face, but I am working on so many palettes that I can't keep track. So I cleaned out my e.l.f. eyebrow kit that I finished last year, I believe. So I cleaned it up and then I scraped out so much shadow that I would have hit pan, if that makes sense. Um, so it's kind of cheat pen, but this is how much product I need to finish to depend on the two shadows. This is Flame and this is Arctic. There are much more product in Arctic than Flame. And I have to wear a lot of green the next month to finish that. But orange and green are two colors that I really like to mm, mix together or match or do an eye look with those two colors. So that, does that make sense? <laughs> I really like these two colors. This is more of a teal green. So this is where I am on these two shadows and I really want to finish those by next update, which is the finale. That would be amazing. Then we have the second category and that is something that seems cursed. And it is basically a category or a product that never ends. I chose the category that never ends and that is body lotion. I feel like they never ends, but I'm actually lower in numbers than I think. So I chose my Yves Rosé Raspberry Peppermint Body Lotion. It is looking like this, but as you can see, it is shiny. I will tell you why in a minute. Unfortunately, <laughs> I've been working a lot on my in shower body lotion from Nivea. Nivea. And that means I have only used it that much and then I have forgotten and then I'm just... I don't know why. But there's also a good reason why it's all the way up to here. As you can see, it is kind of separated here. It has changed from matte to glittery because I put in this sculpting body cream, which is a glittering body lotion thing that does not moisturize. It just, it's just glitter in like a liquid form. Does that make sense? I never use this. I forget to use this. So I thought, I like a shiny glittery body lotion, so I'm going to pull it into here. So I did, which is great. This product is in this project as well, and it is for the Sword of, Sword of Gryffindor, something silver ruby of all oh, hourglass. I chose silver because this is a silver writing. Before I put it into the lotion, I was up to here, so all of this is in there. So maybe that is also why I haven't made much progress, because I pulled the lotion into the lotion you know but i really really liked it and i have gotten compliments on the glitteriness on my legs and arms and stuff like that and i really really like it because the sun is back in denmark 
thanks god i really really like this lotion so hopefully i can finish this up by the finale i don't think i can but it really helps that it is still summer and i am showing some legs but i really want to have this gone before fall really starts to power through in denmark um, so i'm going to try to use this as much as i can so this is the W7 Life of Beach Beach Body Control Sculpt Body Cream that I put into the lotion and I'm not going to use this otherwise. So I'm just going to pull the other two that I have of this into a body lotion. The category that is called Time Turner, we were supposed to pick a product that was the oldest in a certain category and I chose this gel eyeliner from L'Oreal because this is my oldest eyeliner that I have and I am really working on this now and I really want to finish half of the jar so this is where I am right now I have been working on this side right here so I really want to finish half like here yeah over here I don't know if I can but I I have been slacking about the makeup part this month, so I'm getting better now. So maybe I can use more makeup, and if I don't have it in a project, I don't use it. That's just my life. The last category is a product that comes in um, two, part one and two, and I chose a lip liner that I have two of, so it is a double product. W7 Lip Twister in Champagne. It's a beautiful nude color and I really really enjoy it. I use it every time I do my makeup and this is how much I have left. And if I'm really good I can finish that in a month for sure. For that to happen I need to wear makeup at least, at least five days a week. I'm not at the moment. I really hope I can. This is my progress lines. I am there right now, last time I was there, so I have used quite a bit. But for that to happen, to finish the last bit, I really need to wear more makeup. But it's really hard to be motivated to wear makeup when you don't go outside the house, if you don't do anything. Sometimes I think about it as wasting my makeup, but well, I'm not going anywhere today and I did my makeup for a video, so maybe I should just film every day <laughs> no, no okay i don't know <laughs> so yeah that is everything with this update i hope you guys enjoy i love this project i love harry potter i'm a big potter head myself in london we were on the harry potter tour which were amazing i did that with amanda and her husband and my fiance um it's really weird to call him that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one <laughs> please take care bye Wow.